Welcome back to my series where I teach you everything you need to know about the Formula Z12 box. And today we're going over how to reset this thing. One of my favorite remotes that's come with any Android TV box. So if it's ever stopped working for you or it's not working right now, these are all the methods before you go out and do the last method, which is getting a new working remote. Before we go any further, make sure to subscribe down below and comment what video you want to see next for the Z12 Ultra. So step number one is going to seem, yeah, pretty, pretty simple, but I tell this to everybody. You would be surprised how often battery remotes go out, especially these old ones with double A's. They go out pretty often. Now, the one thing about the Formula Z box, which I like a lot, is if you can still access the main menu, we can go directly to this remote app, click on it, and if you have it connected with Bluetooth, it will actually tell us the remote battery power and all these other specs. Mine's not connected with Bluetooth right now. I disconnected it for this video, but we'll go over that. If your remote isn't working, it's actually pretty simple. The first thing you can try doing is just remove the batteries like that. If you have nails, it's gonna be a lot easier. Now, before you go and put new ones in, Hold down the power button for around 15 seconds. This is gonna discharge anything else left in the device. And once you're done with that, first try putting the old batteries in. Sometimes that does the trick. Now, if you happen to have rechargeable double A's, just go ahead and swap them out. And if that didn't work, put in new ones. And this at least solves the problem if your batteries were just run out. Now, next up is if your remote becomes unpaired. Now, what you probably noticed is inside that formula remote app, mine's obviously connected right now, you can see that I don't have any of those stats and that's because this isn't actually connected with Bluetooth. Well, to pair it with Bluetooth, it's actually a really simple process. On your remote, you're gonna hold down the OK button and this three line menu button at the same time for three seconds. Now this puts the remote into Bluetooth pairing mode, which is different from the IR connection that it has right now. So then just head to settings, head to Bluetooth, click on it, click add accessory, and now we're in pairing mode. We can click on that formula B23. It's gonna pair it up. And now just head back, and when we head to that formula remote app, you can see it's gonna show us a bunch of different stats. Still not showing battery, which is weird. That might just take a little bit to connect, but it will pop up eventually. So if some of you are confused how I was able to use my remote, but it wasn't connected with Bluetooth, that's because this can both have a Bluetooth connection, which is great, or an infrared, which is just your remote sensor going directly to the box. So if your remote isn't connected with Bluetooth, you still might be able to use it, but make sure you go and follow those steps we just did to go connect it to Bluetooth as well, so you get the extra benefits. Trick number three, if your remote isn't working. Now this is if you can't access your device at all. You can't click through it. We can't go to any menus. The IR isn't working. The Bluetooth isn't working. What you're gonna do is actually just unplug your box from the back for a minute. I usually say 30 seconds, do it for a minute. This is what we call a power cycle and this might fix any small glitches that are happening with your device. Once that time is up, go ahead and plug your power cord back in and just wait for it to load. And now go ahead and see if you can move through your screen. If you can, great. If not, try step number four. Now this one is actually a remote reset and this involves two different keys on your device and you'll see three blinking lights at the top. So the keys you wanna hold down are the OK and the zero key, the number. So go ahead and hold those down and you're gonna see three blinking lights at the top of the remote. Once you see that, your remote is reset. Now this may completely fix your problem or it might not. Now these are really all the steps you can do to fix your remote. So if it's still not working, what do you do? Because this isn't an official Google TV box, you can't control it with Google Home or your phone apart from some really bad third-party app. So there is actually one other solution and that's this thing right here. This is a keyboard remote. And so with the keyboard remote, you can actually connect what we call a dongle and this can plug right back into your USB port on the back of your box. And that allows you to control your box with your remote. But also you can use the touchpad as a mouse now as well. And so once you have control of your device again, what I suggest doing is heading to settings, going back to that Bluetooth setting right here, and just disconnecting your remote. So unpair it, and then go ahead and do the reset, which is the OK and 
the number key again, zero. And once it's reset from the blinking lights, I suggest doing the Bluetooth pairing, which is okay and that. And that might also fix your problem. But the great part is once you have one of these Bluetooth remotes, you don't necessarily need this remote. Although it's nice, at least you still have something to control your device. What I've done is link down below all my favorite models of keyboard remotes. So all those links are in the description if you wanna check one of these out. I always suggest having one in the house, especially if you have a bunch of streaming devices, because you always have something to use for your device if you're remote ever goes bad again. Now I know you can also pick up the formula remotes if you need as well, but I think these are just a little bit cheaper and a little bit more practical for most people. So next video in the series, I'll be teaching you all the special tricks you can do with this remote because it's so unique. There's so many extra keys. So we're gonna go over a complete tutorial of the remote. If you guys are excited for that, subscribe down below. I'll see you later.